Hello! I know it's been a little while since you have seen my face on this channel. Um, I just, with everything that's gone on the past two years, it's just been really hard for me to feel like picking up the camera and filming a video. I've still been obviously living my life and a big part of that for me is DIY. It's my creative outlet and I did something recently that I feel like you guys are really going to enjoy and I really wanted to share it with you. If you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen this but it's a side table and I used a Kmart side table. It's a little bit of a Kmart hack. You can definitely use any kind of round side table that you have. I'll find some similar ones and link them down below in case you're not based in Australia. But I saw this table, this little coffee table that I fell in love with. It was oak, it was beautiful, it had that scalloped detailing that's been really popular in interiors over the last few months and I absolutely adored it. I did not adore the thousand dollar price tag. Who has the money to be spending that on a literal tiny coffee table? Definitely not me. If it's you, I'm jealous. But I saw it and I figured I know that I can make that, I just have to figure out how. It's actually a pretty simple project because you're using a pre-existing existing table, everything that you're doing is cosmetic. So it actually is a one day project if you make the time. And the only tool that I used was a jigsaw. You probably could get it done with a handsaw if you don't have a jigsaw and you don't want to purchase one. Um, I'll show you the model that I use. I just use a really cheap one because I bought it for this project. I don't know how much I'll use it. I think it sent me back like 60 bucks or something like that. So very affordable in the realm of tools. Apart from that, some sandpaper, some construction adhesive, all really simple, affordable things. So the biggest outlay was the timber itself. So I used Porter Timber Half Round Dowels and these are great because they're flat on the back which makes them perfect for gluing down on a surface. Depending on the size of your table you're going to need more or less wood obviously so I'd recommend just measuring the circumference of the table that you use and then dividing that by the width of your dowel pieces. With any project like this I would recommend over catering just by a little bit to ensure that if your calculations are wrong you're not going to find yourself having to go back to the store because believe me I've been there it sucks but that's about it if you really like DIY content like this I would recommend checking out my Instagram because I've been doing a heap of reels over there they're really fun and bite-sized and easy to consume if you don't want to sit down and watch a full video like this one but if you're here I'm assuming that video length is totally fine so let's go ahead and jump into it so you want to start off by marking the height of your table against the length of your dowel so you can cut all your pieces down to the correct height this is the jigsaw I use like I said it was really really affordable and these are the little blades so you just pop it in like so and don't forget kids safety first because these dowels are usually quite long I used some clamps to secure them down while I was cutting and then just went ahead and cut along all of my marks you should end up with a really large pile of these dowels. You're going to want to go ahead and give them a quick sand. We don't want any sharp edges because we don't want splinters. And then I am using this construction adhesive, a pretty generous amount along the length of the dowel. And then you literally just stick it into place. It is so simple. You'll see me adjusting here to try and make sure that everything is vertical and straight and evenly spaced. And then once they're on and have cured for 24 hours, draw around the outside of the circle onto a piece of MDF and cut it down to size for your top piece. Again, just securing with some construction adhesive, very generous amounts. You'll notice there's a little bit of overhang here because I wanted to allow extra room in case I made a cutting error, but then I just sanded it all back to be nice and flush. And that's it. It is such an easy weekend project. It looks beautiful and upscale. Let me know if you try this out. I would absolutely love to see a photo of your version. <laughs> 